What happens when an industrial wasteland gets a new life as a booming and thriving ecosystem? You get Paradise Creek Nature Park in Portsmouth, Virginia. In this two-part series, I'll be your guide as we tour Paradise Creek Nature Park. We'll check out the different trails and amenities. Join conservation landscape curator Jolie McCarr to learn about some of the native flora and fauna in the area, as well as learn about all the work that went into this space to completely transform it. Let's get into it. Whoa! These hibiscus are huge. Did you know that there was a 40 acre green space oasis like this right in the middle of Portsmouth? Well, we're here at Paradise Creek Park and it is a beautiful day today. I can't wait to show you guys around. There's a natural playground, there's trails, there's kayaking. Come on, let's go take a look and see what kind of amazing things they have in store for us today. I'm so excited. Paradise Creek Nature Park is Portsmouth's third largest public park. Boasting 40 acres of beautiful restored wetlands, this park is more than just a beautiful oasis in the heart of the city. I've actually been to this park before. I was working with WHRO on a project called Spotlight Earth, and it was my first time coming here and I fell in love immediately. One of my favorite things about this particular park, they've got this Paradise Creek Nature Park edible plant guy because a lot of what you see here is going to be items that you can eat. So it's super fun to walk along these trails and see different things that are growing here at Paradise Creek that we can snack on while we're here. For example, red mulberry, blueberry, blackberry, persimmon, serviceberry, pawpaw. Man, I wonder what we can find next. Let's go check it out. Speaking of blackberries, these right here are what I'm talking about. You've seen these for sure at the grocery store, farmer's markets, you know, side fruit stands. But have you ever picked one from a 40 acre green space in P-Town, baby? I don't think so. That one was nice and sweet. And if you look up here, we've got red mulberries growing in. Let's see here. Find one like this guy that comes right off the tree. That's a mulberry. It looks kind of like a blackberry, right? It's a little longer. It's got some more oblong little bumps on it compared to a blackberry. I'll try this guy next. Ooh, ooh, it's funny. I've had a white mulberry before, but not a red mulberry. Those are super sweet. Wow, that's delicious. What else is in here? Oh, here we go. This is a little bee home. So you can make these at home. They're really cool. You can take cans and take paper towel tubes or toilet paper tubes, crumple them up and roll them and stuff them in there and put them outside in the backyard and encourage the insects to have a beautiful, safe space to live. There he goes, right there. A wasp just came right out. Perfect. And if you've ever shown interest in wanting to learn how to kayak, Paradise Creek Park is the perfect place to get introduced to it. I'll let you know, however, they do not do rentals, but they do offer guided tours. And if you have your own kayak, feel free to bring it, pop it in the water whenever they're open, and take a look. And trust me, I understand. Trying something new can be a little scary, a bit daunting, but fear not, you're in good hands here. My friend Larry is going to take good care of me sit on top kayaks are super stable super stable super fun all right first we need is a pfd you said right a personal flotation device so even if you do know how to swim or you feel like you might be a strong swimmer especially trying something new like kayaking in a new environment i highly recommend taking care of yourself and your safety first so getting a pfd is a good idea make sure you get an adult pfd uh, but one that fits you and your size perfectly. So that way, if you're in the water and you do go over, it'll help you by making sure you stay afloat. And yeah, and if you don't know how to use it, Larry's the guy. Safety first and teamwork. <laughs> Paradise Creek is ongoing demonstration of what it means to restore healthy shores on the Elizabeth River, even in a working industrial harbor. All right, so as you see here, this is the easy launch. Hop in here. Again, a perfect way to get yourself into the water. There you go. The long side up, you said, yeah? Correct. Okay. And the way you want to get yourself in, pull until you are in the water! Hooray! Right, right. Wiggle your hips a little bit so you can feel how stable it is. 
Orange in the middle. And then to the right. Yellow crown night hair. Mm. Oh, I do see it. Okay, believe it or not, all this grass that you see around us were planted. This, this the area was a, a, a dump for many years, so the Elizabeth River Project contracted to have the polluted soil removed, yeah. fresh soil brought in, and all this grass is planted. And the result of that is this healthy functioning ecosystem that you see today, wow. and where the tide comes in, at least cleaner than it would come across. So this is what we're doing all around the river, is putting in these fringe marsh habitats. Mm -hmm. You know, they protect from wave energy, they protect from flooding, they filter the water, and they're also habitats. So a lot of the juvenile fish that are recreationally really important, like striped bass, yeah. speckled trout, um, even some of the bigger species like spade fish that are out, you know, more in the ocean mm -hmm. in the bay, use all of our wetlands here on the Elizabeth as their nursery habitat. Oysters and stuff, so these guys filter the water for us. They're part of the reason the, the water is as clean as it is, because we got all these filter feeders here. And each oyster will filter about 50 gallons of water per day. That's incredible. Skip Dog Sam. You came up with Skip Dog Sam? That's my claim to fame. Love wow. Sky. Love he loves Sky. Love Green Beat. He actually got to be the lead, Malia, oh. for the workshop of it. Um, I love it. Oh my goodness, yeah. Easy to see that. I got the Green Beat on my street. Wow, man. I was going to say not a cloud in the sky, but there's one there. Oh, wait, and one more over there. There's two clouds. Portsmouth's Paradise Creek Nature Park has gained a reputation for being one of the most dynamic spaces in Hampton Roads since it opened to the public in 2012 in an area of heavy industry and historic pollution. It's like a milk jug. <laughs> I'm going to go get it. <laughs> and look, it's got a bonus snail on it. A bonus snail. You can live right there. Well, I'll take you off so you can go back in the grass. Coming in hot. Yeah. Hooray! You made it. And then when you come back, just pull yourself up, man. It's just that easy. And that is how you kayak. Yay! We came back with more stuff than we left with. If you hit a trail and you see trash, please pick it up, because if not you, then who? Now you guys know how to kayak. And as you can see from my shirt, that might be the only concern you have about getting wet is your own perspiration. Oh my gosh, is that my Uber? <laughs> hey, hey. The best. Muchas gracias para todo. And if you look ahead, that's Diego and Haley's group. Another thing that Paradise Creek Park does is they'll work with the middle schools and the high schools and get students and bring them out and fully immerse them so they can learn everything there is to learn about the outside world. 